Right, so what's a polygon? Okay, a polygon is actually made up of three or more lines and it's actually a closed plane figure. So let me write its definition here. Okay, a polygon is made up of three or more okay straight lines and is a clothes plane figure all right so examples of polygon include your three-sided triangle okay that's a polygon okay your quadrilateral okay which is four-sided or even the pentagon which is five-sided okay apologies this is the hexagon All right. I accidentally drew a six-sided figure so this is a hexagon which is six sided one two three four five six quadrilateral is one two three four four sided okay a triangle you can tell is three sided at a glance right so these are polygons okay a polygon can have many many sides okay Let's scroll down to the next page. Okay, so let me give you the names of the different types of polygons. Uh, their name actually according to the number of sites that they have. So these are just some of the common names. Alright, so, so the number of sites. Okay, and uh, name of polygon all right if the polygon has got three sides it's called a triangle all right if it's got four sides it's called a quadrilateral if it's got five sides it's called a pentagon all right if it's got six sides it's called a hexagon right if it's got seven sides it's called a heptagon if it's got eight sides it's called an octagon okay like an octopus who's got eight hands um, an octagon has got eight sides all right Okay, for a shape that has got nine sides and is a closed plane figure, it's called a nonagon. Okay, and for a shape that has got ten sides, okay, it's called a decagon. Alright. So in general, okay, let me just state this in general, okay. A polygon with N sides, okay, is called okay an N gun. All right. So, example, a polygon with twelve sides. is called a 12 gun all right okay so let me let me move down to the crux of this topic okay it's called interior angles of a polygon okay now if you happen to see an n-sided polygon okay okay before I go there there's such a thing as a regular polygon a regular polygon 
Okay, he has got two char characteristics. One, all sides are equal in length. Alright, and each interior angle is equal to the other. Okay, so how does a regular polygon look like? So I shall attempt to draw one free hand. Okay, so what is this? This there's there are five sides. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five. This is called a regular pentagon. All right. So each interior angle is the same. Angle A, angle B, angle C, angle D, angle E. So angle A is equals to angle B is equals to angle C is equals to angle D is equals to angle E. Okay, all five angles are equal in magnitude. Alright, so if you want to learn about uh, the interior angles of a polygon, let us move on to the next page. Okay, so interior angles of a polygon. Okay, now for for an n-sided polygon. Okay, the sum of interior angles okay, angles is equals to n minus 2 multiplied by 180 degrees where n is the number of sides. Okay, so you, you actually use this for an irregular shape polygon. Okay, so if you have got a polygon, well, this is a polygon one, two, three, four, five. Okay, it's not re it's not regularly shaped, so this is irregular. Okay, and you want to find the sum of angle A, angle B, angle C, angle D, okay, angle E. Okay, this is irregular. The angles, okay, they are not equal in magnitude. The sides, they are not equal in magnitude. But if you want to find the sum of these interior angles, all you have to do is apply the formula above, which is N minus 2 multiplied by 180 okay but if if you have a regular polygon a regular n-sided polygon okay then the size of each interior angle is equals to n minus 2 times 180 over n okay so if you have something like that okay i know my drawing looks horrible but if all the sides are equal okay if all the sides are equal that also mean necessarily means that each interior angle is the same okay because it's a regular n-sided polygon so if you've got a pentagon in this case one two three four five with all equal sides you can find the size of each angle alright so do remember this formula